So the first question you're probably asking is what is this creepy but yet also somehow hot image I'm looking at? Well, this is actually an AI generated image. Um, stay till the end of the video and I'll show you how I do it. But this video is mostly going to be about bourbon and Facebook, Facebook groups to be particular, um, and a little bit about YouTube channels. So uh, here we go. I was sort of pretty much done with Facebook. Um, I got on it right when it started, 2004, and it used to be really good. I, I was overseas, so it was a great place to put all my photos from when I was traveling so my family back in New Zealand could see them. Um, but as the years went on, you know, everybody stopped posting that sort of stuff and it just really became a bunch of adverts and, and anger. So I'd sort of shut my Facebook down pretty much, taken off all all you know information about myself and it was just sitting there and I used Messenger to talk to my mom. Um, and then I found Facebook groups and specifically Bourbon Facebook groups. So we're going to talk about a couple of my favorite ones and uh, some of the do's and don'ts of Bourbon Facebook groups. The first one I want to talk about is Bourbon Real Talk Community. Uh, the driving force behind this one is Randy Sullivan, and uh, he also has a YouTube channel. So a couple of these are very similar where they're a YouTube channel and a Facebook group. Uh, but this is a really positive forward one. My my first dealings with Facebook bourbon groups were, were not good. You know, get called a tater, get a job, you fucking loser, I think was one of my first comments I ever got. But you don't get any of that sort of stuff here on Bourbon Real Talk. You know, everyone, everyone is just really, really respectful. Um, and like I say, one of the key things to come to when you come to a group is come into this featured thing and read the rules and follow the rules because every page has different rules. And if you don't follow them, you will get kicked off. Uh, Bourbon Real Talk's just got a you know, wealth of information. There's a lot of people that do giveaways of, of samples and that sort of stuff. Um, really, like I say, a positive forward group that uh, you can post photos of your full bottles and, you know, what you've found and you probably won't get ridiculed too much. Some pages you will, you know, some pages you are not allowed to post bottles that are not open because they don't want to be involved in any buying or selling now. Uh, Bourbon Real Talk has nothing to do with buying or selling of whiskey, but uh, they also just sort of let you do what you want to do as long as you're nice about it and you're not a dick. Now, the Bourbon Junkies is another very popular one, like 36, uh, 37,000 members. Uh, once again, a YouTube channel, uh, Sean and Daniel. You know, they're pretty funny guys and the, the page is also like quite humorous. That one right there, don't be a dick. Number one rule of bourbon, I think, and it should should go for everything. And also, opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one, you know? You don't have to tell people that their ideas suck, that sort of stuff. Back to the creepy girl for a second, because I've run out of footage. But uh, yeah, these groups are almost always private, so you don't have to be invited, but that is one way to get in. Uh, if you do invite someone, you're sort of responsible for them somewhat, so you know, be choosy, or you can, uh, you can search for them and uh, find them. And then normally there's some questions to answer. They're not particularly hard. They're just more to prove that you're not a, you're not a spam bot. And then you can get into these smaller Facebook groups. Um, this one is not based around a YouTube channel. I'm just based around a personality. Brian, he's a fantastic guy and uh, he just does an amazing job here. There's, there's a lot of giveaways. There's a lot of charity work. Um, they, they do barrel picks. All these guys, all these groups do barrel picks. So, um, you know, one way to get involved in that is to to be an active member on the group. Um, a lot of the times I'll have more interaction in these smaller groups than I will in the bigger ones. You know, obviously more comments on the bigger ones, but, you know, they get to, you get to know people in these ones a little bit easier. That's it's really good. Uh, links for all these pages and YouTube channels and websites will all be in the comments below, by the way. And then the absolute best Facebook groups are your local bourbon Facebook groups. Uh, this is my one here, and everyone here is a good motherfucker. <laughs> These guys are, everyone I've met's just been great. And they're local, right? You can you can go hang out with them, and uh, these guys do bottle shares and all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, this is my one, was my favorite one, but, uh, you know, look for whichever one's in your region and, you know, hook up with some local people that are interested in the same thing you are. 
I think the main thing is just everybody's got their own opinion and like, just don't be a dick. Don't be a dick is probably the number one lesson I hope you can get from this video. So now I'm going to talk about some of my favorite YouTube channels. A lot of them are associated with those groups, but uh, some are not. Uh, and also be a good time to tell you guys to please like, subscribe and comment and all that garbage. Now, one of my absolute favorite channels is Deck Night on the Rocks with uh, Homer and Amy. Those two are hysterical and link below me. This one's uh, Randy's channel with the Bourbon Real Talk. Just a really awesome guy, very knowledgeable and a uh, great bourbon junkies is another great channel these two guys are funny and just very knowledgeable about bourbon uh, they do some funny stuff and yeah check them out too and uh adhd whiskey matt porter is a very funny man and turns out he's also one of the best tasters of whiskey in the world shocking <laughs> but uh no nah, great channel and david and zach from bourbon kingdom Another great channel. Um, two guys live live very close to the old heart of everything there in Kentucky, and, and check them out as well. And the Mash and Drum, Mash and Drum, another great channel. Um, and Whiskey Row, fantastic channel. Links below, and the Average Drinker, another great channel. Links all below. Check them out. And of course, Dick Knock on the Rocks. Check them out now do it so now we get to their websites a lot of these guys also have a website where they sell stuff right um the bourbon real talk sells some really cool stuff this aroma kit i've been looking at this for a long time just to try and improve my palate right because i don't know what all these flavors are but this has got all these little samples of all those different flavors there so you can work out you now what does a fig smell like what does all this other stuff smell like handles Fuck yeah, I actually have had these candles and they are great. Um, I've also got their glassware. They've got a special glass that sort of flares out at the top there uh, for more higher proof stuff. Um, <clears throat> really works. Got some stickers. I've also got that travel thing. I just got that. That's a, I'm not a Patreon member, but I have spent a little bit of money at their store. And this is, uh, this is Chasing Bourbon's website. Um, this is go check out they can go link you to the facebook group link you to their patreon which we'll talk about in a minute um what they're all about with their samplings and stuff and free downloads here like that tasting wheel is really good to reference you know the flavors you're you're getting when you when you taste bourbon and some tasting note things to write down on um they also have a, a shop that they sell glassware the glassware is really good the decanters I've got a number of their glasses and their stickers are hilarious. Like that Ripco Mingle and that EH Tater is classic. Um, so yeah, another great store to check out. And uh, yeah, so Patreon is like a more acceptable only fans. <laughs> it's a place where you can uh, pay people and become a fan basically. Um, different levels and they give you different things for it you're not going to get any nude photos or well, you might but you probably don't want them but you get things like barrel picks and all that other stuff uh and speaking of that barrel king that's a membership only deal um i've joined it for the last couple of months it's got matt porter they, he's just come on board to to be their chief tasting officer um, where they do different blendings every month so it's not cheap it's like 125 a month if, if you need it shipped, uh, if you're not local. But for that, you get a free bottle of what of bourbon, basically. And some of their bourbon is some of the best stuff I've ever tried. Um, so yeah, I've been a gold member for a couple of months. And this is their store only, which you would not normally get to see. But So this January release is the Gamma. Um, that toasted vanilla, man, I knocked that bottle back faster than I've knocked a bottle of whiskey back since I was 20 years old. Okay, wow, this video is getting long, but anyway, so now we're into this AI generated images. All these images were 100% generated through AI with some prompts that I gave it, some words. Um, this one was like, 
a YouTube thumbnail. Wow, that's a bit weird. It, it's really surprising to see how a machine creates images. You really can see what the what the machine has been trained on, what the machine thinks is a woman, you know, like a beautiful woman. Um, it can get really weird because I don't think it was trained on smoking. As you can see, most women are double fisting like a beer and a whiskey. Uh, for this prompt, I sort of said, you know, show me a woman drinking whiskey. Um, show me a woman drinking whiskey in space. And... Uh, and then they, it can get very cartoony, so you have to get a little bit more specific, like show me a modern woman or show me a goth woman drinking or smoking a cigar. Sometimes they're smoking the drink. Sometimes the drink is smoking. It gets really weird. Um, this one, I asked them to show me, and I wanted, I wanted a thumbnail for this video. So I was like, a woman drinking whiskey while watching Facebook or something like that, you know, like where the third arm came from or the the thing, I don't know. This was where I said, show me the happiest whiskey in the world. Well, they got, they got really weird. So you sort of can create these images and then you can do variations on them. And as you can see here, they're, they're smoking cigarettes backwards. They're uh, sometimes the actual, the table is smoking. Uh, it, it, can, it can go a bit off the rails. The more variations you do, the more off the rails it goes. Like, what's going on there? Her nose is smoking something. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just very interesting on what's going on and 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 what. So this was a man, right? So I said, a handsome man drinking whiskey. Once again, double fisting. I, I guess the machines think we double fist all the time. Um, the cool looking dude. So it's, it's interesting to see what the machine, this was like pyramids. So I asked, show me how the pyramids were actually built, expecting to see aliens, right? It didn't show me aliens. So I had to say, show me aliens building the pyramids. And uh, this one was just some random people. And then the words are really funny. Like, so the words don't make sense. I, I haven't done it enough to make that correct, but see i use mid journey and mid journey is done through discord so discord is also something that you would do if you were in a patreon as you can see i have the bourbon junkies patreon up there so it's just like a chat box it's like a little miniature twitter or x or whatever the fuck it's called these days so you basically would normally be talking to people but in this case you're talking to a machine and the prompt is slash imagine and then you give it a prompt. So I'm giving it a prompt here, a woman and a tiger. Yeah, fuck that. A woman and a tiger drinking whiskey. Let's see what it comes back with. And then so you send this prompt off and you can do other things. So this dash dash AR, uh, well, it should be 16 by 9 was aspect ratio. And I've only started this thing, right? So. I'll have to do another video once I've got more depth into it, but then it goes into the chat and then it starts working on it and it can take anywhere from a minute or two to depending on how busy it is to actually even start working on your thing and then, you know, another minute or so to process it. So we'll skip forward and we'll see what they get. So the images start to come in there, they get blurry and they get more defined as it gets processed. It produces four images. Uh, and then from those four images, you can select which one you want to proceed with. So now we've got our four images and we can select to either, if we like them, we can upscale one, two, three, or four, or we can do a variant of one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to do a variant of one, and that's going to produce four more images based off number one, but with slight variations. As you can see, you're not the only person in this chat thing. I'm in, I'm in one of the newbie groups, but as you can see, other people are doing other images at the same time. Someone wants to do a fitness uh, thing there, and then you can see my images above it processing. Um, somebody else doing something else there. It's just really interesting to watch, just really interesting. So there's my next four images. And so once again, I can do a variant or I can upscale and, and finish it off. 
So uh, let's pick one. Uh, let's go maybe with like four. Do the variant on four. So I'm going to do a couple more variants and skip to the end and I'll show you what the photo is. This has been a really long video for me. Holy shit, like 15 minutes. And I've been uh, <clears throat> I've been drinking a few of these uh, samples I've got from my local, local bourbon group. So hopefully this all makes sense. If it doesn't, uh, like, comment or fucking whatever down below and uh, yeah, I'll fucking try again. Try to do a better one. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look at the video. Let's have a look. No, what is it? No. Let's have a look at the photo. Boom. That's fantastic. Just great image. Um, you might see a lot of these on my channel because, uh, you know, stock imagery is quite expensive. So this is, uh, this costs me like $8 a month. FYI, it costs $8 a month. Well, I hope you enjoyed this very long video and uh, um, like, subscribe, comment, all that other jazz.